Hi, welcome to HomeKit Authority. In this video, I'm gonna take you through how to back up your HomeKit codes with the Native Notes app, and more importantly, how to add any accessories you've backed up directly into HomeKit without having to scan a code. So continue to watch this video to find out more. Hi, welcome back, and my name's John, and this channel is HomeKit Authority, which is dedicated to everything HomeKit. So if you're new to HomeKit or you're an experienced user, then some of the videos on this channel may be useful to you, so don't forget to check them out. If you find this channel useful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button, as you'll be notified when new videos come out directly within the YouTube app. Also, follow us on our social channels, at Follow HomeKit, on Twitter in particular, I'm constantly putting out information about new HomeKit products and various different developments with Apple's smart home platform. So why would you want to back up your HomeKit codes? Well, if you're a new user, this is probably the question you're asking. If you're an experienced user, then you probably already know why. But essentially, the HomeKit setup code is the thing that connects your device within HomeKit and allows all the authentication. So without this code, you can't add the device within HomeKit. So if you've got a device and you've lost that code, 99% of the cases, you're pretty much screwed and you cannot use this device anymore. Now, some manufacturers do sometimes have the HomeKit codes backed up, but being honest, not very often. So it's really important you keep hold of this code. Now, there is an app out there called OwnPass, which is by a independent developer called Aaron Pierce. Now, I personally use this app and I recommend it. It is a wonderful app. It backs up your HomeKit codes and it also stores a host of information around that device. And it also works with the Apple Watch. So it is pretty, pretty compelling. And the app is only $2.99. Now, I did a review and an overview of this app. There's a link coming above the screen now, which you can click to check out the review. I've also put a link in the description below. However, if you're looking for something that is free, it's simple to use, then Apple's own Notes app can come in handy. You can first of all back up the codes, organize them into folders and subfolders to categorize accessories. But more importantly, because a change to iOS 15 and iPad OS 15, because now your device scans photographs for text, numbers, and QR codes, you can interact with these images. So you can now add the QR code directly to the HomeKit without having to scan it by simply using this new technology built into iOS 15. So moving on to setting up the document folder and also back in the codes up. So first of all, you want to open the Notes app and you're presented with the Notes screen. The first thing you want to do is create a folder and I would recommend calling it something like HomeKit codes or whatever is suitable so you can recognize that folder and you know where to put these codes. You then go into the folder and you simply, first of all, create a new note. You name this note and then you've got two options. You can either scan the HomeKit code, or you can take a photograph. Now, I recommend taking a photograph of the code rather than scanning, but that's just my personal preference. So, uh, take a photograph of the HomeKit code and save it within that particular note and click Done. You repeat this several times to add all your HomeKit codes within the folder. And then once they're in there, then they're all backed up. That's all you need to do, and it's very simple. Now, you can take it one step further. You can add subfolders to this folder. So, for instance, if you want to group all your lights together or all your locks or your contact sensors or whatever devices you want to group together, you can create various different folders in order to do that to quickly find accessories within the folder. You also can share this folder. So for instance, if people in your home, you want to give them access to all the HomeKit codes, if for instance, you're not around and a device needs re-adding, then you can share this. You also can restrict what can happen with this folder. So you can actually stop people from editing or removing documents within this folder. So you can put it to view only to stop people from adding or deleting your really precious HomeKit codes. So once you've added them, 
within the notes app you then got them all backed up but what happens if you want to set up a HomeKit device that you've already set up before you might have to reset it or for whatever reason, you just have to add it back into HomeKit. Well, this is where the Notes app really comes useful. As I mentioned earlier, the feature that allows you to be able to pull data out of a photo like numeric information, text, or QR codes. And in this case, the HomeKit code. So if you needed to add an accessory which you got saved within the Notes app, you go to that accessory. In this case, it's the Eve contact sensor. You then click on the image. Once the image is up, you long press on the barcode. This will bring up add to home and then opens the OMAP without having to scan the code and it adds it directly into HomeKit and does that part of the authentication. You then follow the normal setup process, which involves adding it to a room and then setting up any settings that come up on the screen and once that's done, it's all set up within HomeKit. No messing around of having to find the HomeKit code or even having to scan that code. Really simple, really easy to do. So guys, thank you. That's the end of the video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you find this video useful and you want to find out more about HomeKit. And also follow us on our social media channels at Follow HomeKit, particularly Twitter, where I'm constantly putting out information about new HomeKit products and Apple's smart home platform. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.